All right, today we are going to be doing something a little bit different than we usually do. And I am going to take you on a journey <laughs> showing you how you can set up your online store in 10 minutes on Cloudways with Elementor Pro. Let's get started. All right, so if you don't have an account on Cloudways, you can create one for free. So just go to start free and you will be directed to this screen where you can input all your details and start a free account. Also, if you have a promo code, you can add it here, which is very useful. You don't have to remember to go in and set it whenever you, you pay for, for your plan. As you can see, they're also running a promo. So it's also very good. You could add this promo code here or the promo code that I have in the description below. Since I have an account, I'm gonna go just log in and log in here. All right, so we're gonna start a WordPress application because we're building an e-commerce store on WordPress. All right, so let's select our application. It's going to be WordPress and uh, let's call it Ecom. So I'm gonna go down to Ecom, Ecom again and have this be uh, in the project chain. All right, so I'm gonna select the server Digital Ocean for no reason, just because it's more common, I guess, but you can select any of these servers to host your application. And I'm gonna have the server size be two gigabytes and the location, since I am close to Frankfurt, I'm gonna set it to Frankfurt. So that is, that's it so far, right? And as you can see, this is a pay as you go hourly and monthly fee that we would pay for these sites. If we go a little bit down, it's less. If we go even less, it's less. So you can, you get the idea here. All right, so I'm gonna set it to two gigabytes and I'm gonna simply launch it. And it's going to take a little bit of time for this, more or less seven minutes, and we will come back to continue. In the meantime, as this uh, is being created for us, we can have a look at what we are getting with this server. Okay, so first of all, we have a free SSL certificate, which is something that is a must. If you don't have this on your website, don't, don't even have a website online these days. And 24 seven expert human support. And you know, you know by now that I am a huge proponent of human support and I am supporting every company that is promoting this because by now this is something I want to say unique and it's a, a great selling point, a great USB. And as you can see, there is like flexibility to upscale and downscale anytime. If you don't need that much space, you can downscale or if you need more space, you can upscale and real-time performance insights and this is also very important to know about how your site is doing and so 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 much more here you can read a little bit more in depth when you go online and create an account and set your server on <laughs> cloudways so cloudways uses ssd storage across all its plans which significantly enhances the speed of data retrieval compared to traditional hdds also cloudways has built-in cache like varnish and if you have seen my previous videos about cloudways um, and its features i am talking about varnish there and memcache and redis and all this which improves site performance by storing frequently accessed data in memory so in other words ssds provide faster data access compared to at hdds all right so our server is set all set up and we are ready to access it all right so we're gonna go here go to ecom to our project and this is the link so i'm gonna open this I'm going to grab my credentials and grab it in here. And also I am going to get my password, oops, password and drop it in here and log in. And this is pretty easy and pretty simple. I'm not going to save it. And that's pretty clear, right? So I'm going to go to plugins and I'm going to look for adding uh, Elementor and Elementor Pro. So first we need to add Elementor and then we can add our Elementor Pro. I'm installing Elementor. While I'm installing Elementor, I'm going to look for my Elementor Pro zip file. Let's also add our theme and skip for now and add it. All right, that's all there is. That was easy. Now 
let's publish this and I want to go back exit and I need to go to the dashboard to add my Elementor Pro um, oops not here plugins add new plugin and upload by plugin let's add my zip file over here why did not work okay let's try again all right installing elemental pro and this is going to be a little uh, take a little bit of time so we're gonna activate the plugin and i need to connect so i'll come back all right, we are all set now. As you can see, Elementor and Cloudways are very compatible so far. All good. Everything is working perfectly. I'm going to delete the Hello Dolly here because it just bothers me. I'm going to delete Axiom. I don't care right now. And I just want a clean slate. I'm going to also refresh the page. And as you can see, this is all we have so far. All right, so we're not going to start a store from scratch because that would be crazy this would take forever i'm going to show you how you can use an elementor template to do that so you would go to kit library you have to you need to have elementor pro for this so you need to go to kit library and uh, you see here that you have categories we're gonna go and select online store and you have a few templates here i honestly like them they are very fresh in, th in terms of design and are my vibe to be honest and i think i will go i wanted to go with this one but i think i'm gonna go with the vases the vase online store let's have a look you can also preview it and you can also see how it looks on different uh, devices which in my opinion looks pretty cool and yeah you can see everything that you would need uh -huh. the shop is here let's see this product it's pretty simple and it if you have a simple store this is all you need all right so what we're gonna do is apply this kit apply you can hmm, blah 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 all right so we're applying the kit now it's gonna take a little bit of time and enabling all right so we get here a summary of what was added to our website and you see here that we they have installed WooCommerce for us. We have 12 pages, 24 pro uh, products and for navigation menu items and everything that you need. All right. So let's see it live. We need to customize it a little bit. OK, let's go back. Close this and let's go back in our dashboard. Let's go back to plugins and I want to show you that we have WooCommerce here, okay? All right, let's see how uh, our website looks like right now. And it needs a little bit of work in terms of customization. So we need to add our logo here. Let's go to, let's go to appearance, customize and site identity. Oops, uh, yeah, logo here. So I'm gonna drop a logo that I just made in Canva. <laughs> and i will select this crop which is pretty good let's see how it looks i mean yeah it's okay <laughs> we could do better than that but it's nice okay i'm gonna publish it and let's go back so i want to go in the same thing uh, builder and adjust the logo size so let's go to edit because i think it's a little bit too small sitting there sad and lonely logo all right let's hmm. yeah okay let's give it percentage oops <laughs> that's that's a bit too big anyway let's publish and let's go back to our website refresh and i think it's a little bit better it's not perfect but this is just for this video of course this would be perfected and a better logo definitely all right so we could also go to templates theme builder and change some things in our product single product page so this is how your product page looks like okay and you can customize it however you want and this is how so basically this is a template that you would use to showcase all your products individually 
all right so we could change the text here i um, don't know let me just ch change this one because that one is actually really nice very interesting choice of um fonts okay got it fine um so you can do this and definitely don't use pixels so this would you would have to change across the website uh, let's go to see let me first publish this and let's go to global styles to see what we have here global fonts let's see how they are set up so if you click on this you can set it up to rem instead so i would say something like this you know so play around i think this is the size that it was before so to rem so you would have to go over this and as well you could change the system colors and also the custom colors for your template all right for your kit so you can do that from here okay i'm not gonna go too much into it but you get it right so as you can see our text has changed so uh, oops i think it was primary yeah uh, maybe it's a little bit too big it needs to be adjusted but i think it's still very interesting and you can change everything here you can even add some more stuff to it right you can even add a subscribe to our newsletter even here on this product page if you want to and now back in the dashboard as you can see here we have a plugin it's the plugin called breeze from cloudways this is a caching plugin and let's go to plugins and called plugins and let's go to settings and let's see you can go over this basic options this is cache system this needs to be on if you want to uh, use it so all this you can go over and uh, set it up i will leave a link in the description if there is one i uh, can provide you with with all the setup for this plugin because it's very important as you can see it has varnish here as i mentioned earlier we also have uh, cdn which is in integrated obviously with cloud ways for for a faster delivery of your store it is very cool and very interesting i have to admit i have no idea what i'm doing here but i will provide a link in the description below with all the setup for this plugin because i think it's very interesting and probably very very useful for you all right so now you would want to add your domain to cloudways uh, let's go to applications here and click on our application the application that you want to use to launch so as you can see we have domain management in the panel on the left side and you can add domain here you can type in your domain and uh, you would save it and click and save so it's a little bit of a process but it's not difficult at all this will configure cloudways to recognize and serve your application through the specified domain and there's a little bit more there are a little bit more steps to to go through and you would be served on or you would be asked on the screen what you need to do uh, but it's not difficult so this is the step you can take to add your domain to your website all right if you want to benchmark your website to see how it's doing in terms of speed and optimization in general you would have to install first the SSL uh, certificate and if you did not do that yet you go to your application SSL certificate and you go through the steps and everything is set up for you after the SSL is installed you have to force all traffic to use HTTPS by toggling force HTTPS switch this will ensure that all visitors to your website are directed to the secure version of your website and that's it and then we take the website to gtmatrix pingdom and we check it to see how it performs so i did a quick test of the website without the ssl installed i set up a little bit the the breeze plugin turned on some of the features and as you can see this is not too shabby i guess and imagine if you go all in crazy to optimize everything on your website yeah so yeah elemental pro and cloudways are a very good match if you'd like to see what else we can build with elementor watch this playlist here or here and if you have gotten any value out of this video please consider subscribing liking and sharing this video and i'll see you next time bye